In New Jersey, we've had some interesting experiences with boards of elections, county election commissioners and so on. Um, in some cases, they've actually been helpful in getting accurate counts of vote by mail ballots, disqualifying questionable vote by mail absentee ballots. Um, and at times, you think they even want to do an honest job. Um, are there constructive ways to participate, to approach the Board of Elections in advance, find out what they'd like to see election observers do, and, uh, and other things that, you know, it makes sense to do with your local election board or county election board? Yeah, no, that, that's a very good uh, question. Uh, one of the recommendations we make for election activists, recommendation seven, uh, is to be aware of the poll worker training what's required, and to get to know uh, the local officials. Uh, it's much easier uh, to attempt to cooperate uh, with those individuals. And you raise a great point uh, on mail-in ballots. Uh, uh, in Ohio, uh, the Free Press, uh, freepress.org, where you can find this document, uh, we got a call that there were, uh, from a postal worker that there were 10,000 ballots uh, with only one stamp on it because they had printed uh, the absentee ballots. It required two stamps and they only had a box for one. So people put on one stamp and they were just sitting there. Uh, and you know, when this guy called up, so I went down to the Board of Elections, uh, the executive director, told him that. Uh, we called up the postal worker and they immediately uh, paid for those to come forward and uh, agreed uh, to pay in the future for any you know, clear ballots that are stuck uh, in the mail. So uh, in many cases, and this goes for the polling places as well in the specific precincts, uh, a lot of election officials don't mind, even if you're not credentialed, from answering questions. So the best thing to do is be aware of their uh, process. Because you're right, sometimes they don't like to do what they're doing. I found out about the massive purges uh, in 2004 in Cleveland where they purged 24.96 percent. A quarter of all the voters in Cleveland, primarily African American voters, by talking uh, to the executive director in Columbus who was appalled and proud that he wasn't purging the voters of Columbus. So in him sort of bragging, you know, rightly, that he's doing a job, I found out that a quarter of the voters in Cleveland uh, were purged. So having that relationship. And also he explained the process, right? Every 30 days I get a list from the Secretary of State. No reason these names must go. So uh, it's very important to know your local election officials uh, and to be aware of the training. There's also training manuals. They're public records. Get a copy of them. Because in some cases, you can tell uh, the local uh, officials politely uh, and with all due respect when they're doing something incorrectly. You'll know wh when you have to resort uh, to more uh, direct uh, confrontation and when in many cases just telling them what you know can solve the problem. <laughs>